Hey you guys, welcome back to Kimball's Corner. Uh, yeah, we're doing things a little differently today. Um, it is Mermay. Like, where is this year going? It is flying by. So I pulled out a lot of my water-soluble stuff from watercolors to mermaid markers to aqua pastels, Derwent, ink tents things. Uh, yeah, so I, we're gonna do it. I mean, you guys, I hit a thousand subscribers. That is insane. Thank you so much. That is crazy, very unexpected. So I thought, what better way to celebrate than doing all of Mermaid? Will I regret it? No. <laughs> why, why would I? So yeah, I will uh, give you a quick uh, rundown of the stuff I got, and uh, I'll kind of show you what I'm doing. It may have something to do with Animal Crossing because I've been addicted. Okay. All right, so here we have all of the goodies. Of course, I have to start off with my Jane Davenport stuff because that's what I use the most. But we've got some Prima Marketing, or Art Philosophy, whatever you want to call it. Uh, haven't even opened that one yet. That'll be exciting. Got some Jane Davenport watercolors. Got some really cool pens and stuff to use. I have my color sticks, which are kind of like watercolor gel-like sticks. They're awesome. Little Daniel Smith happening, some Karen Dash. We've got the Ink Tents. We've got these. I haven't even used these yet. That'll be fun and exciting. We've got some uh, incredible inks, some of the Fine Tech Pearlescent things. And who knows, I might pull out some acrylics, gouache. I have no idea. I might even bring out the old jelly plate. All right, you guys, this is what I planned on doing for my mermaid. I'm going to do portraits based on the fish that you can catch in Animal Crossing. Not gonna lie, I think that one's probably my favorite. And not just because it's called the Pale Chub. <laughs> Alright guys, we're getting there. Things are happening. Are you as excited as I am to watch paper print? We did it! All right, now we got that done, it's time to cut some stuff up. Let's do it. Now it's time to set up the calendar and I'm going to use some tape, some double-sided tape, and I'm gonna place these all out so I have a little bit of an idea of what I'm gonna do each day. Should be fun, right? All right, you guys, and there we have it. My mermaid list of fish. I know, I'm excited. I had to cut those ones down. I didn't realize my calendar had that weird half slash day thing going on, but that's cool, I can do it. So these are basically color guides for the portraits for mermaid. That is gonna be fun. All right, you guys, let's get to work. Let's start the art. So, May 1st. We're gonna do the pale chub. I love the pastel colors. I love the blues and pinks. Knowing me, I might try and sneak in a little yellow, but I don't know. I was gonna work on top of this, but then I got scared of getting it wet. So, gonna put this aside. I just wanted to see who, what the inspiration was for today. And I found lots of photo references online. I'm not gonna try and draw like the likeness of people. I'm just using it for shading and whatnot. I decided since this is a pastel fish, I'm gonna use my pastel dreams from Prima Marketing slash Art Philosophy. And get that opened up, get these activated. And then I pulled out some colored pencils, um, two lighter to mid-tone pinks and a dark one if I wanna do any dark areas with the pinks. Same with, kinda got two mid-tone light blues and a darker one for any darker blues. I didn't wanna go like indigo dark. I didn't wanna do like dark, dark brown for the reds or anything like that. My little tests just to see if they would work. I don't, you know, I wanna keep it very light, very airy looking. Well, not real airy, but you know, I wanted to be pastel. And obviously I got my coffee because it's gonna be a long one. I did take a break in between filming. Y'all could have told me my nails needed a trim. That would have been nice, thank you. Uh, made some Tom Kaka Guy soup. It was delicious. It's one of my favorite soups. And uh, yeah, so I am ready to go and I'm ready to draw something. Got a brand new Jane Davenport little mini journal. I love these little journals. I'm gonna try and do all of my mermaid pieces in this. Let's get to it, y'all. We got a long month ahead of us. 
I mean, I do art every day, so I'm just gonna be filming it, which is the only difference. Although I will be cutting back on the editing just cause there is gonna be a film, like a video a day. So I will probably speed through like a lot of this. Fair warning. Also, the other videos won't have the whole setup, which this video does. So, here we go. It's like I'm trying to reference the photo. Then I'm gonna try and reference the fish and add some of those aspects into it. Hopefully I can get a nice balance of the two. If not, hey, I got a whole month <laughs> to practice. So, things to look forward to. Also, to be fair, the uh, fish references are cartoon. So, I'm using that as, a, as an excuse. If things don't turn out perfectly every time. I kind of wish I would have drawn her face a little bit smaller, but that's yeah, all right. Then I need to incorporate some mermaid-esque-ness into it. All right, now this thing has like fins on the bottom. Let's see, let's... Give the idea that there's not just a human here. Just kind of add some, some ideas. I don't know if that's gonna show through or not, but we know it's there. And now with the hair, the thing I love about a portrait is that, I mean, I just love drawing people's faces. I don't know, it's a lot of fun for me, but it's like once you learn a lot of the basics, you can draw a ton of faces, but make them all look just a little bit different, which is what I really like. Going with some dark colored pencil right now. Just kind of go, I'm not really looking at the reference anymore. Just makes it a little easier for me to I don't know, it's easier for me to work not from a reference because then I don't know I'm making these mistakes and I don't get frustrated. Now I'm not saying don't work from a reference because they are very helpful. But they can also be, I don't know, upsetting to you if you are trying to go for perfection and you're not there yet. But you'll get there. I always tell people, if you just keep practicing, you'll eventually get to where you want to be. You may not even know where that is yet. All right, I'm gonna outline the edge of her face with the dark, just because I don't want it to get lost in all that pastel hair. As I go in a darker and keep changing things, we're very close <laughs> to watercoloring. I just can't decide if I want to do all the pencil work first or if I want to do it back and forth. Let me add a little red to her nose. Okay. Let's get into these watercolors. So we're gonna do the darker of the blues on the top of her hair.
And it's really not that dark. Bring some of that other bluish color. Uh, the pale chub fish has like the darker pinks near the bottom of its body, so I'm doing that as her hair. Couldn't quite reach the depth. I wonder if I add. Ooh, might make it really. Oh, it's gonna turn it green. I wanted to add some color to make it a little bit darker. Um, let's see, so for her skin, let me just, all right, clean up the palette just a little bit. So I think for her skin, I'm gonna do like a pink, the touch of this marigold color, make a nice peachy color. All right, but we'll start off lighter and kind of just a lot of water. Just want to get a foundation down. All right, I'm going to give this a quick dry. All right, I think the lighting changed because I didn't actually focus it. So now I'm going to focus it and I think it's going to turn really dark, which kind of scares me. So I'm trying to find something dark to add. That's not enough, but maybe some of these just to help with the balance. All right, let's hope that didn't change too much because my focus could be all over the place. I have a new camera set up, so it's a little wonky. I'm not sure if I like it, but it's gonna have to do for now. Let's make, let's get in here with this skin tone and drop in some subtle shadows. And then we'll build up from there. All right, I'm going to darken up her lips a little bit. Just the red for now. And then I'll add some purples and try and make them a bit darker. And like purple and a little blue. Her mouth is actually probably gonna be pretty dark. Hmm, I don't really have a dark color. I mean, I do have these browns, but mm, turns everything a greenish color. Yeah, it's gray enough. 
<laughs> Ew, it looks like she's spitting up pea soup. That's okay though, I will go over that with colored pencil. And the pale chub has like black eyes, but I don't have any black. So I will work with that a little bit later. Adding a little more pink to my purple hue. I'm gonna use this for some shading. All right, I'm gonna give this a quick dry and add some more layers. All right, I think I might add a touch more pink to this purpley color. Get that nice and mixed up. And do the scales. Well, that's not subtle anymore. I think I need to darken up around her eye a little bit. Like her eye, like the whites of her eyes are a little too white. Add some of this red color to her eye. Okay, should probably darken her eyebrows a little bit. But it's not gonna matter because I am gonna go over them with colored pencil. I think colored pencil will be like the constant that I have. And all my pieces. Let's see if I can add a little extra to this hair. bit to the bottom with the pinks. All right, she's feeling pretty good. Now we're gonna dry her off really well and bring in those colored pencils and finish her up. We are almost done with day one, you guys. All right, let's dry her. All right, now that she's quite dry, <clears throat> <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me, now that she's quite dry, let's do some details. <sighs> and I will start with her eyes. I, th I don't think I'm gonna use the darkest blue. Well, maybe I will. I wasn't liking the way it looks mixed with the red or the magenta, but I think it'll be all right on its own. And I did bring, actually I'll use this for the eye, but I did grab a pastel purple color. What do we got? Lilac. Wasn't planning on adding the purple, but it is a good shading color. And since these blue and pinks mixed a bunch, there is a purple hue here and there throughout the image. All right, now she has some pale blue freckles. I love freckles. 
All right, I'm gonna pull out, actually, add some little depth to the hair. I'm using the colors, like the lighter and lighter colors, the further I go out. All right, oh, I do need to fix up the mouth a little bit. I'm mostly using this paint just to soften the texture of that red brush or the red pencil. I'm gonna bring in the white colored pencil. Just because I can. Using a little more subtle highlights back in there. Then I can also use this. Actually, I do have a peach that I like to use. Oh, I think it's this one. And it kind of just helps soften the texture of the colored pencils. All right, and then I need, I'm all, and then, and then I need to, I just need to add this, the white lines in. I just think it's more interesting to have a little, a little hmm happening around here and there. This one might be running a little low. I do use it a lot. Hmm, maybe I can keep it pretty subtle. As I go in for, you know, ultimate highlights. Okay, well, I think her mouth is probably the biggest fail on this piece, which that's not bad. I mean, it's not terrible. It could definitely be worse. All right, checking things out. Last looks. I didn't even add any yellow, which I'm so tempted to. Let me touch up the eye a little bit, soften those colors out. And the eyelid. And I could actually bring this in just as a little highlight on the edge of the scales. All right, you guys, I think that is it. I think that is day one of Mermaid. Phew, we did it. So, uh, you know, a little rusty with the whole mermaid stuff. I haven't drawn mermaids in a long time. I don't know if I'll be doing full body ones or not. I may, I might draw them on the iPad and print them out on watercolor paper or transfer them into this book. I'm not sure yet. It's just, it takes forever for me to draw full body things. But uh, yeah, we are done with Mermaid Day One, The Pale Chip. I should title it. I need to write this down. This is very important. Animal Crossing, The Pale Chub. So Animal Crossing New Horizons. Oh, one. We are on our way, you guys. I will see you tomorrow with another one. Take care, stay safe, and uh, keep on watercoloring or arting or whatever it is you like to do. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.